What is up, you guys? This is Mick with Fresh and Flea, and I'm back at it with a new flea market and round two visit. Let's go, let's go. Got a shout out to the homie, remember the 90s Beavis and Butthead hat that I did try to reshape, but it's still pretty fire. And also with that, I gotta remind everybody out there, yes, I do sell my stuff, remember, link is down below. Do check out the Depop. I just wanna say thank you to everybody who's been ordering. Orders went out today, I know you love them. And if you're new to the channel, I gotta say welcome, welcome, and as well as that, if you're loving the videos and you do wanna make more, remember, hit that like button. And as well as that piece, hit that subscribe button if you're not already, and hit that bell button if you wanna see when I upload immediately. Like I said, it's coming fast. Don't sleep, let's start. Oh yeah, early morning start here at the flea market like always. And you know what's up, gotta run to tell them. Oh yeah. But all joking aside, yes, I'm here to bring you guys a new flea market vid. Don't want to get hit by any trucks out here, and I mean trucks, not cars, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I got the Fendi for today. If you know what's up, I do got entrance fee. Let's get in. Check it out, check it out. Coming off that first spot with two hats. Yes, the uh, vintage C tag built tough in America. The writing in there. If you know the 90s, man, you know this writing in hats. It's the made in USA. Pretty good. Not that bad. I could shape it if I want. Put on to that. The 1991, yes, the NBA MVP Chicago Bulls Michael hat. Check on the back, it says the Jordan 23. And it's got that vintage snap you can see right there. Again, made in USA. You gotta check the tag, like always. Oh yeah. It's just like the AirPods. It's just like some, yeah. I was about to say like on AirPods at the flea market, but um, they're very cheap. I was gonna get them. I thought they were the same size as as um, the AirPods, like I got in right now, but um, they aren't there. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Some guy was standing right there. I don't know if I filmed it, but he was just standing with his pants out. <laughs> or his stomach out. I went by one of the fine establishments over here, one of the vendors. They had cologne and perfume, and I thought, you know, I'll pick up, I'll pick up my Calvin Klein that I want, right? The Calvin Klein. I checked it out. Instead of it saying CK1, it said QK1. Instead of it saying Polo Red, one of them said Lolo Red. That's how it is at the Swap Meet, though. It kind of smells the same, kind of. <laughs> Look at that song. I just watched it. You're a sheep or no, you got shots. Check it out. Some polo for the Lolo. What the question for the Lolo? That one do the life. And that's what it's about over here. Picking up a polo hat for a dollar. Who knew? I didn't. I see the Tommy Anorak. I sees it. Let's see how much she wants though. 15 bucks. <laughs> and now windbreaker. Oh yeah. Can I get one? Oh yeah, that Tommy life. 
Oh yeah, homie knew it's up. I was tommied out. You guys already know, so picked it up. XL. What's up? to my next point and I'm always running out here but how is that Tommy just sitting there seriously so many people went by this but they didn't find anything it's one of those days I found boobs taking my way over on the other side of the uh, swap meet which I don't really get to hear the music playing I'm flowing it's pretty much a good day already because of the polo and the Tommy uh, it's a hat day. I don't know what's up. So I'll be checking out. Let's go. You know what that means? Taking off. Let's go. So straight off at the Goodwill near uh, round two. Check it out. The Taco Bell dog from 1998. $2.99. Very much a collectible. I've never seen them in this size. For some reason I didn't know that's gonna be a pickup right there. Insane. Let's see if he still works too. See the ear? You hold it right here. No way. <laughs> it actually works. It's a plus, but his nose is a little worn for wear. But I'll fix that right up. You know what I do. Honestly, this is what I like to see right here. When you come into a good wall and you go through like the sunglasses again and you come up. So check this out, do you see what it is? Let's see, let's even get into that. Burberry. Now let's legit check it right away. Let's see. Screws are correct. Markings is correct. That's the reason why. They would have never seen the markings because they're only on the arms, not even on the inside. They're just on the part where they touch your ear. That is awesome. No way, that is, that's just crazy, seriously. <sighs> Definitely a nice little come up. Oh yeah. You know what that means? The Yachty. Now let's get in the recap, but I gotta talk about this right in the beginning. Now, what happened at round two? Why did he only take one shirt? Like, as I know, every time I hit up round two, I get Sean, and for those reasons. This time, I did not message him to see if he was gonna be in, and I paid for it dearly. But the guy did pick up the white man can't jump shirt, and I made my money back, and then some on it. Again, the guy was very cool. I got to talk to him a little bit. So what he told me, didn't check the story. Sean had picked up pretty much like 300 pounds of vintage stuff. So considering that he pretty much looked at all the stuff, and because I'm a vintage seller, I did have some high-end stuff in there but he didn't take it anyway so that will have to be sold on another day waste that what's up like i said i made some money that day but some of the fines were awesome now let's get into the hats right here like i said it was a hat day but first off for a dollar a dollar two viewers out there can you believe it a polo cap i didn't check the strap just to see if someone custom it because that happens a lot you'll find the hat but there's be a stitch line here and someone had cut it it's for a little kid in this case this is a full grown man size hat that navy colorway with the yellow accents on it kind of love it and you know and the thing is it's not a vintage one this is actually barely new so i'm very happy Happen to pick some for a dollar. That's crazy. Like I said, I didn't know. That. <coughs> Not to that, these other two hats, and I'm gonna put them kind of together. Like I said, they were the $10 flow hats. Now, there we go with a vintage Stussy cap. Awesome, awesome. This is the second one I've ever came up on. The first one I came up on at the thrift. So I was very happy with this one. Right in the back on the snap right there to say Stussy, made in USA snapback. The colorway, first off, and then look at the embroidery. It's just so sick. Like I was saying, the S with that crown, it means so much. Who's into the Stussy track? I actually found a vintage full wool hooded parka jacket at the thrift one time and I still have it in the collection it was actually like hanging up here one time that is just crazy like I said it's got that crown too that's another piece of Stussy history brand Stussy you think of it it's kind of like a younger person's brand but no the original Stussy I actually wore I have like one picture of me wearing it I was in seventh grade and the thing is that hoodie was actually my dad's hoodie and my dad's like that old surfer style think about that he got that thing back in the day and the thing was expensive even back then that's why Stussy has a real big place in my heart and I always pick them up and always collect them now check this one out i was very surprised with it because when i picked it up i thought it was a youth cap i thought it was cool to have because it looked kind of small and pretty much you got to check this out 
like I said, it actually fits my head. That is just crazy. I didn't think it was gonna fit. It actually fits pretty good. A little snug, and this is right at the end, but I'm happy nonetheless. So off with it then. Like I said, it was just super steals that are coming from the flea market. It actually says the Chicago Bulls, MVP, 1991. Michael Jordan with that Michael Jordan signature, number 23. And right in the back, it actually has the Jordan 23 patch. It actually has the official licensed product. And like I said, if you know about the 90s, a lot of people wrote in their stuff and their jackets, sweaters, sweatshirts, everything. And inside actually says Grant G. Gotta say, what's up, Grant G? My G, what's up? Very, very awesome. The lighting in here makes it pop. Now to the next piece, because this one is pretty crazy. 1998 Taco Bell collectible doll. This is a great piece piece for only $2.99. I've never seen one this size. I have two bags of the small ones that were like toys. This one actually came in a box. Crazy I found this one at the thrift because I, I thought it was a Chihuahua toy that's just sitting like this. Until I saw that Taco Bell sign, I was like, wow. Yeah. Battery goes into the actual stomach part. Get a Taco Bell, that's what's going on. If you guys didn't know, Taco Bell dog actually passed away, so rest in peace. Bring a lot of joy to a lot of people's homes with those tacos, it was so yummy. The voice, I don't actually know the guy's name, but if you know Reno911, the cop Garcia, he's actually the voice of the Taco Bell dog, 90s all the way. <laughs> and onto that, I gotta get into the sunglasses. Pick it up for $3.99, I was so surprised finding this in the small bucket of sunglasses. Most of them were just like Target brand sunglasses kind of rolled up. This is the only one that stuck out. With sunglasses, you can actually feel quality. Screws were correct, build materials were on point, until I checked, I was kind of like, what is this? These are actually the Burberry, so the B. 8394-S sunglasses. This is actually a tortoiseshell colorway on the one side and actually the Nova check on the inside, both of the sides of the arms. It actually says Burberry on both sides. Again, I hopefully show the picture. I know in the video I showed it as much as I could. I put them on in the thrift. They do kind of fit my head, but they are a woman's glass. That's crazy. Coming up on Burberry on one of these days, it's just, this is why I do what I do. And I'm glad you guys are here to witness it. So last but not least, and I gotta get to it right here, it is the size XL, Tommy Hilfiger, Anorak, Nylon. Like I said, usually find these and what? The pole is actually missing and check it out. It's not missing in this one. First you wanted $25 for it and if you know me, I'm wearing like, I have a Tommy bag. I had a Tommy Anorak on as well and he knew it. He's like, man, look at you, you're Tommied out. He knows that I love Tommy and the thing is he was trying to get it. You know, he stopped at 15 and the thing is I just picked it up. Regularly at the thrift, I do not come up on this stuff as much as I should. I know some people out there come up on them all the time and this is subtle. I thought this one had a patch on it somewhere. I'm happy with that patch work alone. 15 bucks, I had to just pick it up. Thank you for watching, it really was just awesome going out but a little hiccup around too i mean selling a bunch of stuff but i'm not complaining considering all the history of selling at that place if you guys haven't seen it go check out one of the videos it's such a good time hanging out with mike sorry i didn't film you mike next time and with that i'm just gonna say what i always say hit that sub button because more videos are coming this was mick from fresh from flea